Okay guys, here's what we're gonna need to make this dress. We're gonna use scissors. You can use pins if you want to, that's optional. We're gonna use some fusible webbing. We're gonna use a peachy pinky band-aid colored fabric. I'm gonna use a hot pink fabric for the band. And then I'm gonna use the purple dots for the bodice. This is gonna be the rickrack that divides the band from the bodice. And this is the ribbon that is gonna make the straps. And that's what we're gonna use, guys. Let's get started. I'm going to cut my dress. And as you can see, this is not cut even. It's not cut the same um, in the same place. So here's what I do to even my material up so that I know I'm getting a, an exact measurement. I come up here and I cut just a little bit into it. And then, oops. yeah, that one got us all the way across. So now we know we have an exact uh, cut across this bottom. Now for this little dress, I'm making a size four, a little girl size four. So I'll know that I can measure from my uh, raw edge here for my dress. I'm making a size four, a little girl's four. So my bodice needs to be 26 inches long by 23 inches wide. Well, because I want it to have a band on it, I made, I cut my fabric 21 inches long because my band is gonna be five inches long. So that equals my 26. And then it's 23 inches wide. Both of those are 23 inches wide. I'm gonna start, I cut two of the band-aid pieces. I went ahead and cut two because my fabric is really thin and I don't want you to be able to see the dots through it. So I'm gonna take and um, lay one down. I'm gonna put a layer of webbing between it, between the two and put another one on top of it. And I'm gonna iron those two together to make it thick. Now I have cut a webbing for my, I've cut a webbing for my heart. I'm gonna place that on my Band-Aid right in the center. And I'm gonna iron that on. This is how I cut my Band-Aid. My Band-Aid is, it's 10 and a half inches long and it's four inches wide. Then I came back and I marked three inches up on this side and three inches up on that side. Uh, and that's my line for like, you know, the center of a Band-Aid usually has like a bandage in it and there. And then I came back and I did my dots. I did one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. So I did three on the outsides and then I centered two up on both ends and that's going to give me my guideline to top stitch when I applique this band-aid to the dress. Okay guys, the first thing we're going to do is put, we're going to applique our band-aid on. So I'm going to take the front of my dress bodice is decide where I want my band-aid to lay on the front of my dress and then I'm going to come over to the iron and iron this on. Okay. I've got my Band-Aid ironed on to my fabric. I'm gonna move over to my machine. I set my length almost at zero, but not quite. And then my length, I usually set mine to about five, but you can set it any width you want, whatever makes you comfortable. Um, and then I'm just gonna, oh, and I'm gonna move to a zigzag stitch. I forgot that. Now, we're gonna start figure out how this is going to land and we want to land right in the middle of our edge and then we're going to get started. Okay, now I stopped right on one of my little uh, strips, one of my little stripes coming across, so I'm just going to turn it around and go across there. Now I do the other one. 
Okay, now I'm going to move over to my little dots that I put on here. And this is how I'm going to do it. You may choose to do it something totally different. Your machine has this buttonhole stitch right here. Do you see where it, it has the middle stitch where it just does the one little stitch sideways? That's the stitch I'm going to get on to do those little dots. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to set that. To that little that little middle stitch in my buttonhole and I'm gonna just do each one of these dots okay we'll move to the next dot And that is the little dots for the band aid. I got the, the string is pulling right this minute. But I'll, I'll snip those in a minute. And then I'm going to move to the other side of my band aid and do those. Okay, now I'm going to go back and, and clip all of the threads that are between this. Now guys, now that I'm through with that part, I'm gonna trade my thread out on top, just the top, not the bottom. Oops. This is so that I can come back and applique this part. Now then, we're gonna come back and we're gonna applique around this heart. And that's it for the applique. I've got my band-aid all appliqued on and I'll get it ironed. Now we're going to move over and we're going to surge all the edges. I'm going to surge the, the side edges of, of my front and my back. Okay, now that we've got that done, oops, let me try my thread out. Purple thread back on here. On the smaller dresses, I usually come down about four inches to do my armhole, but because this is for a larger child, this is a size four, I'm going to come down about six inches to start my armhole, and then I'm just going to start my seam there and go down the side of my dress on both sides. side I'm gonna use my first side to measure by and I started there so I'm gonna pull my other side around here and I just mark it with my finger I don't put a pin in there and I'm just gonna come down there and start my other one now guys I'm gonna move over to the ironing board and I'm gonna iron this seam open so that I can come back and sew my little armhole all right, now I have this pressed down. See, this is gonna be our little armhole here. We're gonna sew down one side, across, and back up the other side. Let's do that right quick. Always stop with your needle down so that when you turn to come across this other one, to come across the bottom of the seam, you uh, will have a pretty corner. Leaving your needle down inside there. Let's come back up this other side. Now I'm gonna do the other sleeve, the little, other little armhole. 
that finishes out our little armholes. Now I'm going to take and serge across the top, uh, both sides of the top. Okay, I've done that. Now I'm also going to come around to the hem of the bodice and I'm going to serge around that hem. Okay, that is all of the bodice surged. I'm gonna take my band now and I'm gonna surge. I only do, on my bands, I only uh, uh, put one, I only put one opening. I don't put one, I don't have a, a seam on both sides. I make just one continuous band. So I'm gonna surge my band. I'm gonna take the band and open it up like this and then put fold the right sides to I mean the wrong sides together we're gonna open it up like this and fold it to where the wrong sides are together and then I'm gonna surge around this band okay and now I have surged all around the band I'm gonna take my dress, the bodice of my dress, and I'm gonna take it right side out. I'm gonna take the seam of this band, I only have the one seam, remember, and I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna place that directly in the center of my back, of my bodice. So I'm gonna pin that on, so I'm gonna put it on here. I'm gonna pin that to the center of the back holding it up now to my dress to make sure that we turned out the same size. And it looks like we are the same size. So I'm gonna come back to the machine and I'm gonna stitch the bodice to the band, the, the band onto the bodice. Now I am, that's, that's what the dress looks like with the little band on it. Now I'm gonna come back up here to the top of the bodice and I'm gonna turn down. Um, we're gonna make a little casing along the top. I'm gonna to turn down about an inch like that. We're just, we're making a casing for the ribbon that's gonna become the uh, strap for the dress. That's one. Now I'm gonna do the other side. Okay, now I'm gonna take um, my rick rack. I mean, that's a crazy word, rick rack. I'm gonna take this, my rick rack, and I'm gonna start right here in the center of the back, and I'm gonna top stitch that all the way around between the bodice and the band. gonna take our ribbon and on the smaller dresses I use about three feet but this uh, is a bigger girl and uh, I, I cut the ribbon a little bit longer this one is five feet long and it just gives the mom uh, a, a more to work with as the little girl grows or she can cut it you know whatever I just don't want it to be too short uh, for her to start with so I leave it a little extra long you don't have to leave it as long as I do but I just thread that through here like that. I'm gonna do my other one. Now I'm gonna center the dress up on these two pieces of ribbon. You'll just center it up. Hold your ribbon up. 
pull your little dress to the center of it. That's how I did it. I hold my, the ends of my ribbon like this, and then I just pull my dress to the center of it. And there you have it, guys. A cute little Doc McStuffins dress.